Here's the question. How can I copy a specific row from sheet three onto sheet two based on the word or value I put on sheet two in Google Sheets? I'm gonna show you how to do that. Watch this. Okay, I've set up my spreadsheet to get started here. So first of all, on sheet three, I have a, a bunch of values. I have the item, fruits, cars, furniture, et cetera, et cetera, and then I have value one, two, three, and four for each one of these items I have here. Now on sheet two, I've started the process. I have the item, and then I have those four values. So what I wanna do is I wanna put something in A, uh, A2, A3, A4, I wanna put something here, and then I want the values associated with that, what I put there to show up here. Very similar to my, my source data that's right here on sheet three. Now, here's what I've done. I've written this formula, if is blank, a2, and this is always saying, always look in A, uh, A2. If that's blank, put nothing. This basically means put nothing. Uh, quote, space, quote. Actually, I could probably put uh, quote, quote with nothing. But if it's not blank, the comma means, this means if, if A2 is blank, then the comma means then put this. And this next comma means else. Else put this. V lookup, which means vertical lookup, based on what I put in A2, front, uh, go look in sheet three, right? Remember, sheet three, and look in that range of data, A2 through E20, A2 through E20, all the way down here. Go look in there. And this comma offset means bring back whatever's in the second column. Other, uh, and false means that the values that are over here, the false on the end, what that means is these are not in alphabetical order. That's all that means, okay? Now, so if I put the word fruit here, look what I get. I get NA, not apple. Couldn't find it. It's fruits, F-R-U-I-T, oh, F-R-U-I-T-S, and hit enter, and it pulls back apple, orange, grape, pear apple, orange, grape, pear. Now, because I put this basic formula that you see here, and the only change I made to this formula that you see here is this is saying, get me what's in the offset to the second column. Second column is apple. Go back to sheet two. And this says, get me what's in the third column. This one says, get me what's in the fourth column. And this says, get me what's in the fifth column. Now, if I copy these down, let's see if that works. I think it will. Copy this down, put it here, it's all blank. But if I put cars, it pulls back cars. If I put furniture, it pulls back furniture. Let's see what body parts, boom. Again, I'm typing a value in sheet two and where I'm typing that value, it's over here, it's pulling what's in that row on sheet three and putting it here. Now I could put my formulas anywhere I want. That doesn't need to be here, but I've written the formula so it's based on the row. If is blank in a row two, put nothing. Otherwise, comma, this, else, do a vertical lookup based on what's on in A2 or A3 or A4 or A5 and go look at uh, sheet three in that range, A2 to E20 and get me what's in the second column, third column or fourth column. And again, all false means is that this data is not sorted. VLOOKUP, pretty powerful tool. There's also HLOOKUP, it looks at it differently. And uh, it's a great way to look at a data set and pull data over into another sheet or another range, et cetera, et cetera, based on whatever you type that is the, uh, the, the criteria for your VLOOKUP to work. Experiment with it. I'm gonna make this sheet shareable. I'm gonna make it uh, any one of the link, 
and I will put the link to this in uh, the YouTube video that I create so that you can go look at it and copy it and use it for your own purposes. It'll be view only, but if you copy it into your Google Docs, then you can play it. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail guy. I hope this is helpful for you.